Welcome to today's class. I want to share with you our today's lesson. And what we are having, we are going to start by looking at the prepared, uh, what we have prepared, have prepared for you. So, for instance, we, I'm going to share to you the plan of today's class. That is today's class that we are going. I'm welcoming you and I want to tell you that please be active. I want active girls. Now, today's lesson, can you look at the screen? I'm, I'm sharing my screen with you. I'm having, here we are having, our topic today is pressure. And the subtopic is atmospheric pressure. The duration of our topic can take 30 minutes, but I will summarize to around 20 minutes. Now, today's lesson, we have to understand the importance of, of learning pressure, and specifically atmospheric pressure. And then we have here the rationale. So I want one girl to read for us the rationale and be loud, please. Put your microphone on and then read for us the rationale of today's lesson. Um, we are listening. He need, he need please. Okay. Yeah. Approximately 100,000 pa. This pressure acts on everything on the earth's surface, including our bodies. But we are not normally aware of the pressure because it's exactly balanced by the pressure of the gases and liquid inside our bodies. Atmospheric pressure decreases with height on top of Mount Kenya. The pressure is only half the, as the sea level. Air pressure is measured using barometer. Very good. Clap for her. Now, today's lesson, we have two objectives we want to meet. That by the end of this lesson, we want every one of you to be able to explain atmospheric pressure and its effect. That by the end, by the end of this lesson, you are able to explain what is atmospheric pressure and its effect. Another objective will be able to state and explain the application of pressure and specifically how is it applied in our day-to-day -day lives. Now, for us to be able to understand how this one is applicable, we must hook it to our day-to-day -day life. So today, I have brought a problem in a scenario that will enable us to understand how this topic can be applicable in our real day life. So I want one girl to read for us the hook of this lesson. Read for us the hook. Be loud. Fatma was excited when her mother confirmed to her that she was going to visit her aunt in Nairobi. June 1st, 2016. Fatima could not hide her joy as she boarded coast bus at member, member, member Tayari. As part of her journey preparation, she bought a bottle of water. She drank halfway from she tightly kept it in her bag. Arriving the summer city in the sun, Fatima was shocked beyond doubt when she realized the bottle was extremely swollen to almost bursting. Her mind scanned through the... Oh, you are reading the screen? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes. Continue. Her mind scanned through the expiry date of water, which was never the case. Was this witchcraft, witchcraft from her enemies? Surprisingly, when she kept bottle as evidence, she comes back to Mombasa. Reaching Mombasa, the bottle went back to normal shape. Fatma could not understand the behavior of the bottle. Now, here we have a problem about Fatima. She's a girl going to Nairobi. She has bought water, but the bottle is misbehaving. We do not understand why the bottle of Fatima is misbehaving. Neither do I understand. 
So I'm asking you, if you were Fatima, what could you have thought had happened to your bottle? I want just, let us react very fast. If you are Fatima, you buy a bottle in Mombasa, it is okay. You get to Nairobi, the bottle is swelling. What could run in your mind? Let us share very fast, girls. Let us react. How would you react if a bottle is... What would be your reaction? Zinat? What would you think? You have bought water in Mombasa, you have gone to Nairobi, the water is swelling, the bottle is increasing in size, the volume. What will run into your mind? Your reaction, what will you do? I don't want a, a specific scientific answer. What will you mind? Is it witchcraft? Is it the bottle has expired? For me, I would think I don't know it's witchcraft. Because some people are not happy I'm going to Nairobi. What will you go to your mind that a bottle? Latifa. Latifa. Nurat. Yes, what would you would go into your mind? Oh, Norat is saying in Nairobi the atmospheric pressure is high while in Mombasa it is low. Me, I don't know. Uh, that's a very good reaction. Anybody, any, anybody else? That's a very good reaction from Norat, but for me I do not know the answer. We'll know later. Now, the second part of our topic, we want, to, I also want to share with you that we are having activities, that these activities are trying to connect the hook which has been read by Hinid and the, the Roshanar which has been read by Nurat. Now, this is what we have done. Our first activity, we have read. And then I have posed a question on to you and Zinat uh, Nurat is telling me that about the atmospheric pressure in Nairobi, I don't know, I do not understand that. At the end of this lesson is when I'm going to understand what was happening. Now, our next activity, I want us to watch a video. And this video, it is trying to open our mind, where are we? So I want you to be keen, watch it keenly. After this, watching this clip, it's about five minutes, I'm going to ask you, Questions. Therefore, be keen in your watching. Now, I want you to specifically watch the key interests that I'm going to highlight as it's playing. We are not going to discuss the YouTube video that we have watched because it's just a, an opener on what we are going to do. Now, our next activity, remember, previously I had given you worksheets. Others had sent you some vi YouTube videos and they were assisting you to do some projects, some experiments where you were supposed to send me the videos so that we can use your video to learn today. I have, a, I have seven videos from Sheka, Nurat, from Hinid. I have another one from Zinat. The, this vi another one from Fatima. These videos are very crucial. That's why I'd given you previously. So today, we are going to learn from your 
activities you have done. Now, the videos which we are having, the videos which we are having, one is from Zinat. Let us watch Zinat video. Zinad made us made a good video. I do not know what she was doing, but at the end of this lesson, we are going to understand. Let us watch Zinad. My experiment is about heat rises with different experiments. So I have an empty bottle with a balloon on it. I have a hot water, a sufre of hot water, and a bowl of cold water. So I'm dipping this uh, empty bottle into the That is in it. She's trying to demonstrate the behavior of balloon in now, hot water and the cold water. Cold water. See what will happen. So, he, That's very good, Zinat. So, Later we are going to understand what you are doing. Drops and becomes less dense. Very good, Zinat. So this is my experiment. Welcome. Now, next, we are going to Verun's video. She's not in class. Here is a Verun's house. I'm doing an experiment of atmospheric pressure. She also did an experiment. Keep water inside this place. That is Verusi's video. Yes. As you can see, the water rise up due to. We are going to talk later. Let us finish watching our videos. And the water rise to enter this glass. That's very nice, Verus. Then we have Lat Latifa video. This shows that the water will flow up here. As you can see here, there is water coming on the straw. It will flow. As you can see, the water is flowing towards the other glass, which is this process required both the pressure, both the atmospheric pressure and the force of gravity. Are you seeing Latifa? No. This experiment is called the siphoning. This shows that the water will flow up his. As you can see here. I'll, we are going to see her later. I don't know where she has gone. She had two containers. It will flow. The water is flowing. And the water was trying to fall from. This process required both the pressure, both the atmospheric pressure, and the force of gravity. That's very good, Latifa. And this also Sheikha's video. Sheikha's video. Wow. 
Daddy shake us video. Who else? We have not read your video. Who? who? Nurat. Nurat's video. Nurat's video. It's the same as Shaker's video. Very good video. She also has given us the observation that the world does not fall down. Then we have, I know he needs this video. He needs. He needs this video. pressure. In this activity, we will demonstrate why water does not fall out from an upside down glass. For this activity, we will need a glass of water and a lid. First, we will fill the glass with water. So she's adding water cover on top of the glass the glass upside down remove your hand from the glass we observe that the water that from the air pressure outside the glass is greater than it is upside down let me this see the first see also it the from same the glass which it is upside down now the this last is one is the air pressure outside fat the mass glass video is greater than the pressure inside the Fatima's video. He's having, she's adding hot water to the bottle. Closing the bottle. Then she's adding cold water to the bottle. And the bottle is doing, I don't know what, what is happening to the bottle. She's saying that. Okay, we are going to it. The it loses the shape. Thank you, guys, for wonderful, for very wonderful videos. Now, what we have seen, what is happening is not magic. It's actually the effect of atmospheric pressure. Now, I ask Zinat, what you did? How does atmospheric pressure come in? How does atmospheric pressure explain? What you are you explaining? Just two words. Remember, our Zoom meeting is ending because uh, once it ends, I'm going to launch another meeting because we, are, we have only 30 minutes. So, once this meeting ends, I will send you another link. So don't go away because we have one minute remaining. Meanwhile, Zinat, tell us what were you doing and what happened. Sir. Yes? Or let me do what? Let me end the meeting. I send you another link because this is ending. Sir. 